I know this drill looked like it was trash, like it should have been thrown out, but uh, it, it can be saved. So now that we've covered the geometry of the drill itself, we're going to show you a drill here that was burnt up. And in sharpening this drill, I believe that it would be wise to come back here and probably take a quarter of an inch off this drill. Why? Because I believe that the flute here is pretty well melted in its undersize, and we won't get a good hole next when we try to sharpen it and try to use it. So we're going to go ahead and remove about a quarter of an inch of this drill and then put a point on it. So we'll take you out back. We're going to show you how we're going to do it. Wow, this is what it looks like under a magnifying uh, camera, which magnifies it about 50 times. So you can see it's pretty well trashed. So we're going to take off about a quarter of an inch of the drill. The reason we're going to do that is the flutes on the side seem to be uh, worn and uh, we're not going to get the right size if we don't do that. So it, this thing looks pretty ugly, I guess. I'm not sure who did it or why, but it's a great example of a drill that's gone south and now we're going to sharpen it. All right, so here we've taken our dresser and we've cleaned up the, uh, the grinding wheel, make sure that we have a good sharp wheel. As you can see, we're removing the stock. I know this drill looked like it was trash, like it should have been thrown out, but uh, it, it can be saved. It's not a big deal. We just have to remove, like I said, about a quarter of an inch of the drill, and then we can begin to put our point on it. And notice I'm traveling across the wheel uh, all the way from right to left, and the reason I'm doing that is because I, I don't want to wear a hole in the wheel. I want to make sure that the wheel stays pretty sharp. But there you see the before and the after, again with the relief on the back edge. So that's all there is to sharpening a drill.